Well, let's talk about the early peak care. The success of the on the first week depends on our how we can achieve the excellent transition between all environmental until new environmental because the pigs are creating their own immunity. So the health challenges are important for the pigs. They start to compete for feeder, for drinker, for floor, inclusive for heat zone. They never compete. Only, they compete only one the, the first day when they born. And after that, they have one teeth per pig, but now they are competing during 24 hours. Uh, we are changing the, the feed forms from liquid to solid at the end, at the end of the digestibility too. So why? Because we want to save some money in feed, and we want to save some money in heat too. This is the reason, because we want to move the pigs here. So the three major factor, we can call it SFC. Good start. What this means with the start is good clean disinfection and dry because we want to reduce the health challenge and the health challenge in the week to finish is very important. We, we will see that. Place and plan, obviously. Environmental care mainly about the temperature. Intensive fit training. We have some tools to intensive fit training. One tool is a mat feeding. When the pigs don't want to eat well, we can use other tools, like for example, this is one example, a proposal for feeding, and obviously they need to, to learn about the drinker, not the water. Reduce the competition. Reduce the competition because perhaps it's the more important factor in which to feed is when they are starting. So reduce the competition in feed. We have two tools. One tool is feeder space. The other tool is feeder adjustment or paint coverage. Second tool is about the floor space. In some case, we are we don't we cannot change these things or water drinker per pig water pressure is important and temperature again so this is a good, good example about the health challenge when we are receiving the pigs when you have a clean barn versus no clean barn you can see the effect in seven percent almost eight percent of the average the, the, the difference in average daily gain 40% of the difference in treatment of the pigs and 40% in terms of the mortality. This is the effect of the health challenge. Or in other in other review, you can see in the winner pigs, when you are working all in all out, but in one case you are clean, you have a clean building, in another case no, the difference is almost 15% in average day gain. So if all the things that we can do to reduce the health challenge when the, you are receiving the pigs is good. It's the same in, in farming houses. The farming houses times ago was the same concept. And we developed night step, and we are using this step for battle with PED. One is remove all the pigs, all in all out. Second, all, remove all the organic material. Third, remove the feeders, mud, all the things that you can remove to clean better. So the, the, the room, apply some detergent, passive wash to remove more the mat organic material. Power wash with hot water is better and has a difference. And after that, you, you make an audit. So, so the auditor take a checklist and review the pounds and put a mark in the place that you have dirty and show to the washer the, the, the place because the washer need to learn and see the same thing that you have seen. And watch again, rewatch, and review, audit again until the, if the both both person are agree is that it's empty or clean. Okay, apply the disinfectant and three that three days of the downtime is good for those buildings. It's okay, Bob. <laughs> okay. So other point, important point about the placement plan. If you decide to use double stocking, increase the competition. If you decide to, to use large uh, pens versus small pens to increase the competition, it's the same concept in both cases. Independent of the why or what are you decide, you need at least four times of the pen. One is the normal pen. Second is the hospital pen. Hospital pen normally is like 7% of the, your building in normal condition, health condition. If you have health challenge, perhaps 
you can increase until 20% in case of the PED, for example. But this hospital pen need to reduce the competition of the pigs. For this reason, we are recommending no more than 8% of the stock intensity in hospital pen, and to have in a hospital pen extra temperature for the pigs too. Other kind is about the pens. You need some pens to receive the pigs and not competing well in the first three days. More or less, 85% of the pigs learn to drink and eat well in the first 30 hours. So you will have more or less 15% of the pigs are not eating well. So those pigs are not sick. Those pigs need to, they are not competing well. Only you, you need to remove the pigs to the special pen and give the condition to start to eat better. And at the end, the graduate pen, the, the target is really to avoid the contact between sick, pen, sick pigs versus the pigs are recovering from the, some problems. No, this is the idea. So at the end, this is a one example that we have when we are talking about the placement plan. So about the good start environmental things, mainly about the temperature. Well, Brian talked very well about the temperature, room temperature and comfort zone. Uh, I have one good example that today I took a picture to do to, to make a <coughs> to review the difference. But in the case of the comfort zone, we have two tools to do that. One is a brooder. This is a brooder. The brooder is not a ma uh, the, the same alarm. <coughs> different. The temperature is different. And the second is a mat. And the idea is to achieve in the center of the mat below to the brooder 95 degrees Fahrenheit. It's similar to the Fahrenheit house. But in the case of the lamp, when we are using the lamp, our experience with Brian is like 82, 85 degrees Fahrenheit, which you cannot achieve more. So perhaps in that case, you need to put more warm your barn because you are not achieving the comfort zone well. And obviously, if you, need, you have a, a comfort zone, you need a space. And our measure is 0.4 square foot of the vast space for the pigs. Well, humidity less like 65. And while well, you review with Brian very well about the air speed, the, the objective is outside 800 feet per minute to share with environmental. The, the pigs don't like to airflow. <laughs> so at the end, uh, this is uh, the level that we are thinking when, when we talk about the uh, small pigs. 54 is like the same speed that we have when we walk. It's very low. No? So this is a one example I took today, this picture, when we have very good facilities, very good temperature, in the room temperature, 90, 85, 87. But most of the pigs has in this behavior. It's good behavior for the room temperature. But in that case, what happened in that case? We have many pigs here, and they don't have enough mat space. But in that case, it is similar than the pigs uh, Brian showed you. The pigs suffer cold. And the room temperature is good. But the problem is about pen. Perhaps in this pen, we need more mass space. But in this pen, we need a room. Extra temperature for the pigs. So it, this is the difference between room temperature and comfort zone. You know? So well, you review very well this thing, this curve about the temperature and how we can uh, change the temperature in accord to the, our tools. But in the, when we have some health challenge, PED, for example, birds, perhaps we need to have more warm our barn because the pigs need more, more temperature to recover, you know? or at least to reduce the challenge. You know? So intensive feed training, yeah, one tool to intensive feed training is about the use of the mats, the same mat we are using for the comfort zone. Is Few quantity of the feed, one pound for 40 pigs, the same level of the space, if you have good uh, uh, temperature. And like any training that we have, we need times. It's not only one time, we need many times. And in that case, we are recommending four, six times per day, because the idea is train the pigs. Okay, not feed the pigs. And during three days, no more than seven days, because if the pigs are not learning in three days, you have a big problem, <laughs> okay? And seven days, perhaps, in pigs are not competing well and they need more care for the pigs. But this is the idea. Look at that, this area, and this is the feed, very low feed. The idea is activity, the pigs eat, the mud close to the feeders, incentive to the feeding. 
One example in Kansas State University about when you are using mat feeding in red column versus no using, this is the removal peak that we have. And in that case, in the first 11 days, they reduce 42% of the removal peak when you are using mat feeding. And this is other trial in USA when we can see the difference. Uh, the more important, this is a not significant difference, but the more important is about the trend when we are feeding two times, three times, four times, six times per day the pigs uh, to the mud feeding. Mud, because we are talking about the, some tools to train the pigs. Other important things is about the, what happened when the pigs are not eating the feed. Perhaps change the form of the feed or change this, something in the feed is better for them. When this is a, 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 an example that you can, uh, the extra support in the, this kind of pigs, bottom 20%, hospital pen, weak pigs, or pigs are not competing well, we can offer a different feed, rural feed. But like uh, any measure that we take, uh, we have a recipe. The recipe is eight ounces of feed, 24 ounces of water for 15 pigs, offered during one hour, no more, because we want to teach the pigs, support the pigs, but not eat the pigs, feed the pigs, sorry. No? It's extra support. And uh, it's almost 70% of the water in that case, where uh, it's per, per, per the reason this measure is good for PED challenge or first challenge. And well, when, how we are offering during only one hour, all the pigs are eating at the same time. For this reason, in that, that specific measure, we need three inch per pig because we need this kind of behavior. All the pigs, if not, we start we are creating competition for the pigs, and this is no idea. So at the end, three inch per pig in the linear uh, sp uh, feeder space is, is our measure. Why three inch? Because it's the measure of the controllers. It's just three inch. So this is an example in Chile, this is an example in Mexico, and this is an example in, in USA. <coughs> I have some point here. Okay, reduce the competition about the uh, feed adjustment. Normally, we care our feed conversion when this level of the feed adjustment, but when we are receiving the pigs, the pigs need to learn how they can get feed from the feeders. So if we, we are using too much adjust, it's bad, and increase the competition. So we are recommending in the first, during the period of the training, to have more pain coverage, like 70%, it's an example. And we are moving from this level, the pain coverage, until in, the, in that case of the exit of the nursery, 40%, or the same level that you are receiving the pigs in the finish. Okay, if you change in your finish in the feeder, perhaps you need to change, sorry, you change the pain coverage too, because the pigs need to learn in the finish. So the idea is reduce the competition again. So in the case of the feeder space, it's other point of the competition for the feed, one inch per pig is our recommendation, and the stocking density 2.8 or 3.65, depending on the weight. So the idea is, when we have high stocking density, for example, one measure that we can take to reduce the competition is increase the feeder space. When we increase the feeder space, the average daily gain of this conversion can improve. But many times, we cannot increase uh, uh, feeder space and we have, or we are receiving more pigs normally because we are increasing the feed wide with PNC especially. So, one extra tool is increase the pig coverage because the idea is reduce the competition and pigs can eat more fast. But when you increase the pig coverage, it's like my, my wife in the shopping with credit card free, okay? <laughs> So care, care with that. It's all the day, all the pens, all the feeders. You need to adjust because you can lose money too, okay? But you have tools to do that. Pen coverage, feeder space, and stocking density has your tools to, to reduce the competition for the pigs. For the feed, sorry. Water is important for us, especially when we have health challenge and we are receiving pigs and we are medicated by water. For this reason, PAC recommends one per 10, one, uh, 10 pigs per one drinkers. Uh, water flow no more than a half a liter per minute, and the head, in the case of the nipple, show, uh, pig shoulder level. No? 
When we have some de design like <coughs> wet dry feeders care with the feeder adjustment, if you have, you have this kind of the, the behavior of the, feed, the feeder, you lost the water too. So uh, in, in the case of the first day, it's very important to have access to water. And this is a good example in bowl, in bowl of drinkers. In 2008, average daily gain in the same ratio that the supplier recommend versus one per, per eight, one per 12. And you can see the difference between an average daily gain. It's like 10%. When we're, <coughs> if the reduction is like 10%, the opportunity cost that you have in, 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 in average daily gain is like 1.5 or $2 per pig. So it is, it's important, the reduction, no? So what happened with the water flow? When we, re, if we have reduction in water flow, we have some opportunity cost too. So it's a similar if you don't have good ratio drinker per pig or re reduction in water flow, especially in, in, with health challenge. This graph, I like this, this graph because this is all, but represent very well which is the effect in average daily gain in the first week during the win to finish performance. When you have good average daily gain in the first week, you will have good performance in the win to finish in the future. So it's like a yield performance. <laughs> and you have good borderline in the first, you can get good, good borderline in the future. So this is a current, the last year, Brian measured this individual pace and make this graph, very good this graph, first 20 days, 21 days, the average, average daily gain in peaks here versus market weight. And you can see the very strong relation between the first three weeks versus the market weight. In, in my experience in Mexico, one, one kilo at the, in kilo, where this is fine, one kilo was five kilos at the, at the market, and one kilo at the end of the nursery was three kilos at the market. So I measured two million pigs there. So <coughs> this is very important. Well, when we have some health challenge, well, Bob talk about more, more deep money <laughs> about the PE. That the more important concept is here: high rotation of the pigs and maximize absor the absorption in the small intestine are the main, main goal for our us in when to finish. So one a three point is the first is. PED decrease the capacity of the small intestine to absorb the nutrient. This is one important point. Second point, the regeneration. In young pigs, storm take more time. So we need to provide better condition for younger pigs. More take care. And third, is about the nutrients, about the diet. Uh, simple sugars is good. Transition more, more quick between a milk diet to grain diet. It's better for the pigs. No? Well, Brian, something else here? No? Three point here. So uh, the, the, the PEC develop four point here. High rotation, electrolyzed, root, root feeding, for example, because root feeding provides 70% of the water and some feed too, and uh, enough water for the pigs. Activity in, in terms of the reduce the competition for floor. Feed, feeding intake, feeding uh, space, and diet design that we can comment. And environmental is very important to keep more warm the, the, the barns because the wet, well, Brian explained to you about the windshield that we, the pig has when they have wet. So it's very important to reduce the, the humidity in the building, in the, in the floor too. So at the end, this is a, an example of a company with health, a first challenge, health challenge. And you can see all the tools that they are using in the hospital pen and the removal pick pen. Uh, extra water with electrolytes, extra feeders, gruel feeding, mat, extra, extra temperature, treatment, desiccant to reduce the humidity, electrolytes, all the things that you can do to reduce or increase the competition for the pig is good. But when we have the, the price like today, any pigs, the value is very high, no? and we need to care.